what the hell are you giving that you are charging so much? Exactly. I was asked this question by one of my fellow colleagues in training industry. You know, I'm going to organize a training on emotional intelligence for leading and communicating. And the common question, why am I charging so much? And what are the things that I will be providing in this training program within two days? So then I thought, why not I uh, come up with the answers? Let's start. Let's start with the contents that are content that I will be providing throughout today's. In any emotional training, what happens? People start with the basics of emotions, brains, thoughts, behaviors. So my training program a bit similar in the beginning because I'll be studying the same way the neuroscience of emotions, emotional symphony, harmony between emotions and the brain, emotional hijacking, navigating the anatomy of reaction, mood meter mastery, recognizing the riding emotional waves in terms of energy and pleasantness decoding i mean whole emotional brain so that's the very common general starting i will have as well in my training then moving ahead to second module module uh, where i'll be decoding emotional intelligence i mean that from the history you know what uh, uh, who coined uh, the term emotional intelligence Peter Salovey and John Meyer talk about, uh, I mean, they came up with the idea of emotional intelligence in their research article. So what, uh, I mean, they talked about four branch model initially, four branch model of emotional intelligence. Again, four branch model of emotional intelligence. Later, uh, Daniel Goldman came up with five competency framework, five competency framework. So Peter Salovey and John Meyer came up with four branch model, Daniel Goldman came up with five competency framework. Then he updated and, and put all the things related to emotions, brain or behavior, communication, leadership under four vast domains. So four domains of emotional intelligence. See, Peter and Salovey, four branch model. Daniel Goldman, five competency framework. Then he upgraded it, put all things communication, leadership, empathy, everything under vast four domains. In our training program, we will be working with six elements of emotional intelligence grounding from self-regard. So here our th third module starts, the power of self-regard in emotional wellness. Studies show that uh, if you have low self-regard, you are ultimately vulnerable by external triggers, external happenings, a talk, a comments, any, any, any event can easily beat you, shake you, make you vulnerable. But if you have high self-regard, nothing can influence you, nothing can shake you. So here I'll be working with self-regard. So breaking the barriers, confronting externally and internal roadblocks. We'll be working with the tasks and tools to find out what are the internal and external roadblocks you might have. Limiting beliefs versus empowering beliefs. We have heard a lot about limiting beliefs. So limiting beliefs versus empowering beliefs. I mean, low self-regard versus high self-regard. The self-regard diagnosis will have a diagnosis, thorough diagnosis of your self-regard. I mean, why do we have that limiting beliefs? If you know the, I mean, uh, if you if you can diagnose it, if you know the score where you are, then you can easily give the prescription. So ultimately, we'll be working on that. Then slowly, we'll be working to develop your self-regard. So this is how we'll finish our third module. Then we'll move to fourth module that is self-awareness. Very important one. We'll be using some models, tools, assessment to know yourself actually. We'll be working in a group task to identify certain triggers you might have that influence us. If you know the triggers, so it gets easier for us to manage them. Then we'll move to a model model behind the glass. We are calling it. So exploring uh, with the Johari window model. Then we'll have an assessment, assessment, we are calling it personal 
empower self-assessment using a tool. Then we'll be moving emotional gymnastic. I mean, the fourth module we are calling it developing self-management competencies. So in short, we are calling it emotional gymnastic because that's a gymnasium. Gymnasium, we will be working for uh, uh, develop our self-management competencies. So then we'll be moving to emotional taming task. Emotional taming tasks, we'll be working with certain strategies to regulate our inner storm. Then another task, uh, task on emotional audit. So we'll be working with the balancing the books of our mind. Again, we'll be, mo we'll be moving to another task. We are calling it journaling our control. It, we have developed a wonderful tool, wonderful behavioral self-control worksheet. We are calling it dashboard for journaling. So we'll be working on that. That will be ultimate the change, I mean, uh, uh, game changer for you to uh, have the awareness of yourself. Then we'll be moving to another tool to identify uh, how resilient we are. So we are calling it Resilience Reloaded. We'll be using a tools for our resilient uh, mindset. Then we'll be moving to a task because at the moment we can diagnose our resilience level, then we can develop. So we'll be moving to a task to develop our resilient mindset. Then another task, I mean, so that uh, we'll be working with certain steps to emotionally healthy self-talk. Then also uh, uh, we'll be moving to another task for avoiding distorted and emotionally unhealthy thinking. Uh, we'll be uh, working with our stress management. First, we'll be identified certain our daily stressors through, uh, stressors through worksheet. Then we'll... Uh, step by step, we'll develop action plan and commitment to stress management. We'll be moving to another activity uh, to identify how agile you are, because uh, in this ever-changing business world, we need to have agility, agile mindset. So we'll diagnose uh, your personal agility. Then we'll be step by step work. Uh, uh working to develop your agile mindset moving to our next module we'll be working with the rigor for others uh, in the emotional arena uh, where we'll be working with empathy i mean we do have a yeah, self-regard i mean regard for ourselves as well as we need to have regard for others as well uh, so we'll be working with empathy uh, going beyond feeling acting with care certain activities videos assessment then we'll be moving to another module called, we are calling it developing your awareness of others. Very, a very important topic. Uh, I mean, to have the, uh, I mean, you can use that tool within one hour workshop. I mean, the session uh, we do have, we developed a tool called GOF. I mean, guided observation filtering that one hour session I mean, step by step guided observation filtering tool. You can observe your counterpart, your colleague, your boss, whoever it is, so that you can easily identify whether the person is people oriented or task oriented, whether the person is auditory or visual or kinesthetic, whether the person talks about himself or talks about others, whether the person is uh, action oriented or expressive or emotional whether the person is a big chunk or a small chunk based on this filtering process that we have developed ultimately you can you can observe and you can have the true observation report of your counterpart of your colleague of your business partner of your boss of your loved ones so that later on you can rectify yourself i mean rectify yourself you can uh, uh, use this information while communicating and leading that particular person so that develop developing your awareness of others is important after that we will be working with the relationship management strategies the last module so this is how basically we have uh, designed our whole program our whole two-day workshop i know the uh, the materials that uh, we have incorporated um well i mean it would be a bit challenging for me to finish all these materials within two days and uh, those who are emotional intelligence practitioner trainer uh, whatever the profession you might have if you want to know emotional intelligence 
uh, join our program, I guarantee that whatever you restate, you will find a lot of things new, a lot of activities, a lot of frameworks, tools, models new that you can use later on in your practical life, in your training classroom, as well as in your uh, professional settings. So thank you very much. Whatever the questions you have, visit our website careercoach.com.bd you'll uh, find handy to uh, i mean visit to see our activities and ask the questions if you have in your mind thank you thank you very much